to now. Darrell, I mean, you, you spent a long time looking at domestic terrorism in the United States. So, so you were studying individuals, you were studying groups. Do you come to the same kind of conclusion that Frank and, and Randy did about first thought, first thing you wake up in the morning, it, it it's completely takes over your thinking? Well, yeah, I mean, these people uh, have a belief system that they adhere to. I mean, I attribute it to personal life experiences. Uh, each one of these terrorists that we have if you go back in time and look at their lives, they've had some sort of event that caused them to seek new truths. And that is that opportunity that exposed them to extremism that they later embraced as the new truth. Can you give us a, an example, one, one that we will know internationally? Well, sure. Let's talk about Dylan Roof for a minute. Uh, uh, going back over his life, supposedly uh, there was a girl that he was infatuated with and wanted to you know, have a, a relationship with. Uh, this girl later uh, basically ditched him for a black man. And this was that cataclysmic event in his right. life that caused him to start seeking out new truths and exposed him to extremism and the white nationalist message. Right. And, and what did he say when he shot the church, when he was shooting in the church? He said, you're taking our women, you're taking our country. Wow. Right. So there you have it. He, in his own words, he's personalizing the message through his own personal life experience that sent him on that path. So Frank, you, you heard 